Sleep. Live from New York, San Francisco, and the Philippines, it's the countdown to the Leo Awards 2020. The Leo Awards Foundation, a nonprofit organization, was founded by Alice H. Reyes in 1976. The Leo Awards continues to be the only award giving body that recognizes the best of live entertainment in the Philippines. On this episode, we're sharing updates on events about Aaliyah, and we're talking to the Aaliyah Award past winners and 2020 nominees. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey from the first Aliw Awards night in 1977 has not been easy. It has been fraught with challenges, which by the grace of God, we have overcome. Gusto ko lang pong sabihin na sa lahat po ng mga nagbibigay ng parangal, uh, katangi-tangi po ang Aliw Awards. Dahil sila lamang po ang nagbibigay ng award sa lahat po ng klase ng performer. Thank you to uh, Aliyo uh, Awards Foundation. Thank you to Aliyo Foundation for this humbling recognition. Maraming maraming salamat po, Aliyo Awards Foundation. Maraming salamat po sa Aliyo Awards Foundation. Aliyo Awards Foundation, thank you very much for continuing to honor not just me, but my entire family over the years that we have been involved in live entertainment. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Mabuhay pong teatro, mabuhay ang Aliyo. Winners are the cast and crew of Binondo. We have Miss Rebecca, who shared the story of her uncle, and the directors and cast. Thank you so much for pioneering the best DJ for electronic dance music. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aliyu Awards, for recognizing all the DJs in the industry. Po. Uh, thank you on the category of awards. That you dare to First, we would like to thank the Alio Awards uh, Foundation. But more importantly, we would like to thank this list of people. Um, Shepherd, si Mr. Eli Bendia, and the, the team from Offshore Music. Wake up where the clouds are this is a great honor. I feel kind of uh, awkward being in the presence of a prestigious group of entertainers. So I come from the world of journalism, which usually isn't associated with entertainment. The chimney tops, that's where. Awards for recognizing uh, an original Filipino musical which is being utilized as a medium for education. Manager and director, Kiro Magramilo, and uh, thank you, Kay Atelier Salonga, for uh, inspiring me to do better and pay. Adri Jean Velasquez for giving birth to me in this industry. Thank you so much. Aliu, thank you so much. To God be the glory. Thank you. During this difficult period in our lives, 
we felt it necessary to tackle the problem facing the live entertainment in the school. And sa lahat po nang andito ngayon, Incorporated, maraming maraming salamat po sa Bihing sa gabi ito at uh, salamat sa pagbibigay sa akin ng opportunity ang daigdig mo Hey uh Welcome to episode 81. In behalf of Ali Awards Foundation and the board members of uh, Ali Awards Foundation, we welcome you to episode 81. Good morning, America, and good evening, Philippines. I hope everything's okay. Uh, this is going to be a special episode. Um, we know we said Fidesz will be here, the, the, our iconic uh, Philippines treasure, Fidesz Kuyugan Asensio. But uh, because of some difficulty, uh, but we have some videos of her and some videos of some Ali awardees uh, in regards to Fides. But let me introduce our co-host for today uh, to welcome everyone again. Ladies and gentlemen, Reg Rodriguez. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Philippines and around the world. Thank you for being here tonight. I really appreciate that you took the time to be with us. Please stay with us and enjoy the show. Back to you, Brady. Bagong you hairstyle ka na yun, ha? Bagong yeah, hairstyle. Yeah, just <laughs> for a change. <laughs> hey, um, anyway, this is going to be an, a special episode because I, I was re research, re researching our guest and, and obviously the iconic fetus. I was so excited for her, but Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, sobrang galing niya. And as soon as I said that she will be one of the guests, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Aliyu awardees uh, commented and sent some messages, but uh, we'll, we'll probably play it later. Let's introduce uh, her granddaughter. Her granddaughter who's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm talking to the board members of Aliyu Award. What happened? Why well, can never... Huh, anyway, and diamond, diamond, galing, magaling na Filipino artist. Um, yes. And that's the reason why we have the show here today, um, that to promote everyone else, not only sa Philippines, sa buong mundo. And uh, kamusta na? Well, I'm doing great. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> and some of the, we have a lot of Nicole Laurel fans here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce her as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful galing lang sa kaka concert lang niya. And I'm glad she had time to be with us as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Asensio. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sir Birdie. Hi, Miss Reg. It's good to be back, and it's good to be back with all of you. Thank you for having me today. Yes, thank you, and thank you for. Uh, squeezing us in in your tight schedule over there oh no i'm honored to be here i i'll, I'll do this anytime for you guys you guys are the best uh, by the <laughs> way by the way uh i i would like to say good evening to the board members of the Lee awards foundation and alice reyes uh, they're all watching and um they this is their weekly sunday routine uh, and um hello the board members Good evening po, Miss Alice. Good evening po sa members. 
Eh, no, tawagin natin yung pinsan mo. He's, he's a... Man, he's an actor. What is it? Actor first or singer second? Singer first? Oh, he's also a blogger. I was watching his blog. Actor, singer, blogger. Uh, good looking. What else? Reg, what do you say? Uh, yeah, and happily a, married man. Yes. Multi-talented. Beautiful, beautiful family, too. Two daughters. Ladies and gentlemen, Franco <laughs> Laurel. Hi. Thank Hello, you. good evening to everybody, and good morning to everyone watching in the U.S. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Reg. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Wait, nice tell <laughs> kaya lang kayo huli nagkita ni Nicole. My in gosh. Person? In person? In person, 2017. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. That was the last yeah. time, because we did a show together. Um, in Soler, a, yeah. Yes, it, we had a Laurels in concert, a special right. show at... Okay. Soler with Tito Kokoy, Tita yes. Iwi, Nicole's mom, and my sister yeah. Yana. So, I saw that. I saw that video. Um, better be magpinsan well, almost five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. A lot's happened since then, but I'm happy that we get to catch up here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we see each other online. Yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> uh, so many things have happened in the last two years, so... It's so nice to see Nicole doing so well. I I, I get to watch you na lang digitally. <laughs> Likewise, Kuya Franco, and congratulations on all your TV appearances. Nakaka proud. Oh, I thank know. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so what much. Is, what is, um, do you watch his blogs? Ang gaganda rin ang blog na. Um, yeah. My vlogs? Oh, I haven't yeah. done a vlog in a long time. My gosh. I mean, I, 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 just, I haven't just had the... Up. It takes a lot of effort doing it. Eh? So, I mean, yeah. and I'm only a one-man team. So, I do the editing and all the stuff. So, it, it, uh, it's very, very, um, how do you say this? Uh, Time-consuming in a sense na, you know, parang kailangan talaga lagyan ng effort. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's also hard for you because you, you're also a father of two. and a no, I'm a father of actually four. Four now. Oh, sh see, I'm so back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's oh. okay. Four oh. girls. <laughs> Four wow. Girls. Beautiful girls. Thank you. Thank you. Um, before we chit chat and talk about everybody else, let's bring back uh, another up and ru up and coming star. Um, she's. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I met her a year ago and. From my year to today, I'm Damian Nyara Sabuaya, professionally. And ladies and gentlemen, Alisa Boniobra. Hello, po. Magandang magandang gabi po, Sir Birdie, Mam Reg, Miss Nicole, Sir Franco, and to everyone watching po, good evening po. Good evening, Sayo, Alisa. Kamusta na, and how's everything? Um, okay naman po. Actually, today, uh, I'm actually kind of sad because I just lost one of right. my so. <laughs> You, you lost what? One of my cats. Oh, <laughs> One of my rescued. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. There's, uh, I don't know if you know Kathy Hippol Thomas. She's also a, yeah, remember, she's a yes. classical artist. Mm -hmm. Tinuruan ni Lola Mio, Grandma Fides. And uh, she had a, a birthday party for her, night on a 91st birthday party for Fides. But she's one of the classical artists who has 12 cats. Oh my goodness! Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear about your cat. My condolences. Yeah. Wow. Um, hey, uh, let me show you this, right? Because nobody, uh, Fra Franco, you're. What's first for you, uh, acting or singing? Because you're a I'm or actually, theater. I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually. A, huh. My first love is singing. I mean, that's how I really got into the performing arts ever since I was a kid. And it was Tito Kokoi who actually encouraged me to, to get into singing. And then I joined workshops when I was a kid. But then it, it on, I only got into the business after I graduated from college. So when I graduated from college in Japan, I came back home to the Philippines. And I was at a crossroads what to do. Um, 
should I do corporate? Uh, should I enter the corporate world or do I pursue my passion in the performing arts? And I chose her. My heart uh, said that I know that I will be very happy and um, and I got the blessings of my family. So I pursued the performing arts. So that's when I got so funny from I got into the business being a host of a dance show. I don't know if you guys are familiar yeah. with Easy Dancing. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. We never, back in the night. Remember that. Back in Easy the 90s. Dancing. Yeah. So that. so that's how I got into the business. But then um, my my first foray into professional uh, theater productions was in Rama at Sita, the musical Rama at Sita, in 1999. So mm -hmm. that's how I really got. Uh, known as a live performing artist. I mean, a live. I mean, as a theater actor. So, yun. Yun yung, yun yung unang pasok ko sa, sa uh, theater professionally. And then, tuloy-tuloy na. Um, so, as as the years went on, um, I I was able to to dabble into more theater projects. Uh, and then, uh, of course, film and TV. And I'm still so blessed to be working right now. I'm a working actor. Thank God I'm a working actor. Yeah. Uh, so there. So wait, uh, you're, 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 um, you didn't go to acting school. But no, I didn't. Obviously, you're singing and uh, it's in the, runs in the family. Um, Did you go to school for voice lessons? or? No, no. I actually went, you know, in bit, I had a... I had some time after graduating from high school and before going to Japan for college. I had a little bit of, I had six months. So I used that six months, six months. To, to immerse myself into, you know, honing my craft. And that's when I took voice lessons with the late uh, Nulin Kabahug. And then eventually I also took lessons with Edward Granadosin, who happens to be a very good friend of mine. And so, you know, they gave me tips. In, in I mean and in, in techniques in um, enhancing my 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 vocal style my voice and not not making me sound like somebody else but making me sound who I am and that's what I'm so grateful for with Nolin and Edward that they were able to bring out the best in my voice and through the years I was able to use the techniques that I've learned from them and wow. I want to just hanggang ngayon nagagamit ko pa rin. <laughs> So I was asking Nicole the last time she was a guest here. I said, what do you guys do on reunions? Do you guys sing? Uh, then oh, I yes, we do. Yes, absolutely. No, actually, you guys do concerts. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's funny because dalawa lang kami ni Nicole nandito, but, you know, we have a whole, a plethora of cousins yes. that, yes. that actually sing. I mean, from Denise to my sister Yana to... This is just, we're just talking about our generation, huh? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then the generation after us, my kids, they love to sing, and even our aunts, Nicole's mom, the Iwi, and everybody else, a, a generation above us, they all love to sing. So, talagang we're called, di ba Nicole? We're called the Bon Trap family Trap. singers of the Philippines. <laughs> wow! Will you guys ever get invited to one of our dinners? When I was a child, they would say it's bad manners to sing at the table, but not in our family. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Everybody's singing everywhere. And yeah. you know, Lola Celia, when she was alive, Diba, she would always yes. encourage us to to oh. perform and sing. And, and you know, even I think when he, the last time I saw her was in 2019. And we, we were still like, we had a. It was Tito Coco's birthday, and there was actually a string quartet. Yes. And we were just singing the whole night. Yes. Literally you know, singing the whole today. night. It's and Lola Celia's birthday, birthday, birthday today, and we Happy birthday, just actually, and thank you. We all miss her very much. We just came from the online mass, and again, mm -hmm. although pre recorded and digital, it was Tito Coco's voice there on the mass, and, and, and all the lovely Broadway hits and classical music just as a tribute to her. So I really think like what Kuya Frank was saying, it's, it's really ingrained in the system. <laughs> it's it's Sabi, there. Sammy Lovell Alban sample. Hi, Lovell. 
<laughs> let's give him a sample here um, uh, of uh, you and Denise. I, I know you gave me a video, but I got one of them. another video as well, Franco. Wow. Oh, you, okay. Here you go, uh, Nick Franco Laurel and Denise Laurel. Happy birthday, Alexandria. This is special for you. That you know, it, it's such a fitting um tribute because today we sang that when yes. was that? That was 2017? 17 on her birthday, on Lola Salia's birthday. Oh, yeah, that so was a, yeah, five years ago. <laughs> or was it 2016? I think 2017. I think. 2017, yeah. No, no, sorry, 2018. Because 2018. I remember, I remember I was shooting, I was doing a film that time, that's why I had a I had a goatee. <laughs> Because I was, I couldn't shave because I was doing a movie that time. But yeah, it brought back beautiful memories. Oh. See that, and also it, uh, we were just talking about your family. Ang ganda, it's beautiful. Birdie, if you notice, di ba? Di ba kung birthday party may ano? Uh, Forty piece orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> Kayo lang yon. Kayo lang yon. <laughs> No, that was yeah. because that was the in celebration of uh, Lola Celia's 90th birthday. Yes. That's, right. that's why it was very special. We had a full orchestra and the whole family sang. Yes, everyone. Everyone. We had medleys upon medleys wow. of songs. 
Yeah. I actually watched that on YouTube, by the way. I watched you oh. guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The beauty of YouTube, you can bring yeah. it back. Um, and then... What about um, you, Alisa? Yeah, uh, are you, your family also, you know, music lover? Or aside yes, from po, you, yes, you know, is everyone used to sing too? Oh, po, yes, but actually my family also sings and favorite pastime din po talaga namin yung mag video o okay, ganyan po. So, um, pag nagsistart po si mama, kailangan po sa akin yung last kasi ano po ako eh, uh, matagal ako mapagod pag kumakanta po. <laughs> ah, wow. Opo. Oh, Sir Birdie, tayo na lang pala ang ano, wala sa family. <laughs> we're just a fan. We're just a fan of music. Yeah, we're and just fans. fan. <laughs> Ina, look, David Valencia is here. He said, depende sa age mo. <laughs> He's one of uh, the... David, good morning, David. So, Alyssa, so, yeah, but you you have a wonderful, strong, strong voice. Saan ka nag-aral mag... Uh, when when did that bug hit you like you know what at what age Opo, ayun, um, according to my mom po i started singing when i was five years old and i started competing po at the age of nine at ang mother ko po i graduate ko ng uh, bachelor of music uh, uh bachelor of music education po so um yun po naturuan po hanggang uh, i from our eldest sister po which we are eight siblings, and lahat po kami ay kumakanta rin po. And actually, right now, I'm taking up Bachelor of Music major in Music Theater in University of Santo Tomas po. So, yes po. So, medyo nadadagdagan po yung mga ano po, techniques. Pretty Sinong sweet. maestra mo? Sorry Sinong po? maestra mo? Yung uh, voice teacher po. Oo, sinong maestra mo? Si Sir Randy Galingo po. Ah, Okay. Fun fact, my wife, uh, Ayan, was actually a, she took two years of music uh, in USD before she moved to UP to uh, take up theater arts naman. So, eh, kasi dati wala pang theater arts sa uh, USD. So, uh, or else, I was going to say, ano mas, uh, it's always, all the guests we have here is always either UP, USD, yeah. <laughs> so wow um, and you know uh, since i know everybody is expecting fides here uh, she's not here uh, uh but her soul and her spirit is here she's watching probably watching us right now hi to I, fides I, I, in, hi, her, uh, in her, in her <laughs> honor i want to play uh what um uh Jonathan Badon had a video. Oh, and nice. Wow. This is, the, this is the UP. This is done when uh, honoring her in, in UP, talking about UP. UP gives emotional tribute to Fides Asuncia. Here you go. As a performing artist, for 41 years, she has taught and trained musical talents in the Conservatory of Music. In recognition for valuable contribution to the promotion of Philippine talent and industry in the field of world-class music, given in Diliman, Quezon City, on the 21st day of November, Anno Domini 2008, on the occasion of the centennial year of our beloved alma mater. Tumutubo kahit na uhaw 
by Jonathan to Miss Fides Cuyugan Asensio were written by Miss Fides Cuyugan Asensio. Wow. Oh my gosh. The lyrics alone. I know. It's, it's making me teary-eyed. She's a brilliant writer. Oh, I got chills. I just got chills coming up. I, I, you know, sobrang galing. She's a she's a Philippine treasure, guys. Imagine grandma Neon and, and to me, yeah. I'm 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 proud to be a Filipino just listening to the lyrics and her work. Mm -hmm. Super. I I, I, I love just, Papa. I, I don't have much else to say. I love you. I, I don't know if you're watching. I will make you call it on chat later. <laughs> but um, you're a huge inspiration behind the voice and all the other talents it, her writing is brilliant and i just pray that more and more people discover her original work because yes, she's yes. for that that's what we her fire and burning and she's also an exceptional actress uh yeah. I, I mean she was in the cast of uh the iconic um Oro Plata Oro Plata Mata. Mata yes, yes. of peke galiaga so yes. yeah yeah, and actually CCP honored her as well. Um, uh, what do you call that? Um, sinig ng music, gawad para sa sinig ng musika. And they, there's a video on showing her that Aura Plata Mag acting as well. Mm -hmm. So how is it to be the granddaughter of Fides? <laughs> I'm honored. You know, 
she's such a big star in my eyes. She's always been a star. She still is a star. And it's such a bright star that burns with so much passion. She never gets tired. She's always thinking of the next step, the next idea, the next show. And she, that's really what makes her thrive. And I just pray that you know when when things are are safer for her, that she can still continue to do it because she still has that fight in her. And that's what I admire about her so much. Um, it's it's no secret that she is one of the best singers and 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 talents on stage. But like I said earlier, I really pray more and more people get to discover her original work because it's a whole nother level of brilliance and. That's actually the part of her that inspires me most. I know I'll never be like her. I know that. And um, that's all right. I think God wanted me to be someone else, but I will forever be a fan and forever be grateful to be her granddaughter. You know, um, beyond, be, you guys don't know, uh, all the classical singers that were guests on the show, and I talked to them on the side, uh, what, can you say something about Fides. Anna Gillen Fileo, she said, she's the epitome of passion, courage, and grace. And she inspires her students and those around her to, to, to her to place that same, those same values in the forefront of who they are so th that they can make a significant mark in the world of performing arts. She is an artist who loves the process of bringing in the humanity in the character, which made me fully embrace the world of opera. She let me step on the biggest stage and sing on the top of the most prestigious orchestras. Even before I left, I was good enough. I was good enough, but because Tita Fides said I was ready, I would trust her word and sing. When Tita Fides gives you, gives she gives all, her all, and always be proud to say I am a Fides baby. I love her with all my heart, Anna Gillen Filet. <laughs> oh, that's Thank so you. nice Thank of you. Anna. That's yeah. so nice. <laughs> And she's so, more she's like, mentored so many. Yeah. Yes. In the industry, a lot of the, the best classical singers yes. are have been mentored yeah. by uh, Tita Fides. She's, and um, imagine that Nicole is a descendant of two <laughs> yes. pillars of the a very good entertainment deal. industry. Lola Celia and Tita Fides. Yeah. So, Look at the genes. The bloodline. The bloodline. I could say the same about you, Kuya Franco. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> My goodness. I, I, I was blessed to be a little child running around in Lola Fides' house, seeing um, her students, uh, because many of them boarded in her house. They lived with her. Oh. So they got very close to her, especially the ones who didn't live in Manila or, or who were studying at the time. She, she did more than just teach them. She actually housed many of them. And um, that's why she's so close to them. And that's why they, until this day, many of them consider her like a mom to them because yeah. many of them Kathy Hippolyta Mass speaks to yeah. oh, so much about her. She actually made a 91st birthday party for her. Yes. And, and I, I said, send me the video. It was too long. Um, <laughs> but she she speaks well. She said, um, okay, uh, but I'll read it a little bit. Uh, she said, Tita Fides is one of a kind, and I admire her for being very passionate in her craft and over the years. When I first saw her, she was introduced to me by my friend, director Emmeline Santos. I feel so excited because I'll be meeting an icon and I'd like her also to be my mentor. The first time she listens to my voice, she w was just smiling and I feel so nervous. She is regal, very beautiful woman in the 90s. I was in her 90s. I was amazed by her beauty and the way she carries herself. I don't know if she will like my way of singing. My hands are shaking. A lot of things are running in my mind. But when she started to speak, she asked me, this is Frida saying, when did you start singing? I answered, ma'am, I started singing at the age of three in church. Frida says, no, I mean opera. Kathy says, just two years, ma'am. Frida said, oh my God, you're gifted. You cannot just sing opera with a voice like that in two years. You are a natural soprano. Nice. Some, of, some other music teachers would always want you to change your voice to please them. But Tita Fida, she inspired me to be me and just express myself freely with my gift. Then she taught me how to pronounce the foreign words to, for, for my French song, La Vie en Rose. 
and habanero song in the play Carmen, and my talent song on how to portray Madame Butterfly. Kati Hipoto, Mas. Oh, thank you. Beautiful tribute. She's so good too, Kathy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we, it will change our scene and tone. I mean, we're honoring her. Hopefully, she could watch this on YouTube and, um, mm -hmm. and we'll play a few some, but we'll focus our, 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 we'll go straight to Alisa Boniabra, who is, guys, I've seen her grow from last year to this year, and she's all over the place now. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. How, how's, how, how was your last project? <laughs> Actually, uh, my recent project with RJ po is the official press con of Ika, Ikaw Ang Lahat Sa Akin Po, which is composed by Mrs. Cecilia Zircon Innocentes and um, arranged by Sir Homer Flores po. So wow. um, it's actually now streaming on all major streaming platforms. And um, you yung official that? video. Yes, opo. Yes, po. Wow. <laughs> and um, uh, you have a very good production group. Uh, your, your team are good. Um, with, with, you want to say hello to your manager? Of course, see, si Tita Rosabella, how are you, Baspo? And my RJA fam are, are watching right now. And my Arlage family and Aliso Warriors po are all watching right now. Po. Okay, so I'm going to be singing my latest single under RJA Productions. It's entitled, Ikaw Ang Lahat Sa Akin. And please keep on supporting OPM. Po. Let's go.
so much po. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Very nice you did that sitting down. Grabe! Grabe! <laughs> Very powerful. Wait. My mind is blown. Exactly. Wait. Can I just say this? When I saw your name kanina, I was like, sabi ko, she's, her name sounds so familiar. I And then, I I I, re, I googled you while you were singing. I said, oh my gosh, it's her! I watched you at during the X Factor UK, the, the 14th yes. season of the X Factor UK, <laughs> yeah. and I was rooting for you. I was, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm such a fan. Thank I, you very I, much. Really, really. And it was it was just unfortunate that you were against a Raksu who was who did all original songs that, that time, Deba. Right? But Oh, my gosh, thank you for, for carrying our flag and raising the Filipino flag in the UK stage. To thank so you. Well, you made us so proud. <laughs> Can I just say your voice is so much better now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, Paul. I mean, it's so... I mean, the technique. Diba, Nicole? Yeah, grab her technique. control. The control. <laughs> she knew when to, to make beer it. She knew when to yeah. pull back. And and it's not it's even a beautiful annoyed. arrangement too that makes that really makes your voice fly. Yes, I can arrange it with Homer. Po. Tito okay. Homer, right? Yes, ah, po. Homer, Homer is, a, is brilliant. But yeah. can I just tell you this, Alisa? There are so many singers in the Philippines, yes, but I'm there are just right. very few that can tell a story. Yeah. And you're one of them. Well, so, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Thank you bakit, so much. Bakit ako. I, I get chills when I see an artist compliment another artist. I, I get chills like, oh. oh. <laughs> That's how it should be. That's yeah. how yeah. it should be. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean, we should really support each other. Yeah. I mean, that's, yes. who else can support each other? Pero tayo tayo rin, di ba? So, yeah. apa, apa. <laughs> my gosh, Alisa, grabe. I'm, I, I'm, I was such a fan then. I'm still a fan now. So. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, po. Maraming maraming yeah, salamat. I just want to ask Alisa. Alisa, kasi you reached the 14th series of the X Factor, di ba? Okay. Have you, uh, have you experienced stress before going to the stage? Oh, po yes, po. Actually, um, for me, po, it's normal to to uh to be nervous po before. Lalo na po dun sa X Factor UK since um iba po talaga kasi yung uh, standard nila with the music. And um, kung napansin niyo po, nung, nung uh, X Factor Yuki ko po, ako lang po yata yung biritera that time. So medyo, ayun po yung nakita ko din po na advantage. And um, before I go uh, sa stage po, talagang sobrang kaba po talaga yung as in buong katawan ko po yung <laughs> ninenervyos. Pero thank God po at uh, now overcome naman po of course with the prayer and of course uh, with the people around me po talaga na Hindi ko po inimagine na ganun po talaga sila ka solid mag-support po. Sorry, I'll ask lang ah. Uh, di ba you sang Defying Gravity? Yes, sir. Dun sa ano, what was that before yung parang elimination round? Apo, Dun yes sa, po. <laughs> yung in front of the live yeah. audience? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Apo. That really blew my mind. How was that whole experience? Um, Actually, the Defying Gravity po is... After ko po, ma first, muntik na po ako ma eliminate for the first time po, and then yes, I sang yes. Defying Gravity. Yes. yes so yes. during my performance po sa Defying Gravity, I really wanna defy. Gusto ko talaga mag mag stand out that time. So yung yung kaba ko po and everything else, talagang in uh, isinan tabi ko po muna siya. And um, thank God na na push through po talaga yung yung pinakamataas na part po na sobrang kaba din po ako. So, <laughs> yun po yung experience po. I mean, ano yung, ano yung feeling mo nung bigla na lang tumayo yung buong stadium, pati yung mga judges, tapos wala, parang nahulog yung mga panganilan lahat eh. How was the whole experience like? Opo, um, Honestly, sir, that that was my very first time to experience yung um, ganun po na mga... Actually, I experienced that sa The Voice po. Pero iba kasi po yung feeling kapag um, you're not in your home court. Parang ganun po. And then all of them are cheering mm -hmm. for you. And yung talagang tama po talaga yung pagkakabigas, pagkakabigkas po ng name ko and yung Defying Gravity po. Uh, ang iniisip ko lang po nun kasi is 
yun nga po, to, uh, to finish my song well, and tinitingnan ko lang po talaga nun is yung mm-hmm. mother ko po na nasa, nasa audience area po that time. And nung after ko po kumanta, parang ano po, as in sobrang hindi ko po ina-expect na ganun ka, an, ka-solid yung, um, yung palakpakan po nila. And yung, actually po sa Wembley kasi sobrang laki po nung stage. So yung mga tao yeah. po talagang nagsistamp pa po sila ng feet just to, yung, yung para po malas, malakasan pa yung palakpak. So, sobrang-sobrang thankful po din, din po ako. Is Magda MC Wessel, are you from UK? She said, yes. she's from UK. She said, UK loves you, Elisa Nunez. Oh, yes. Oh. Magda is one of my Elisa Warriors po. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed, that, especially when the, the host announces your name, di ba? Alyssa Bonaobra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Tawang-tawang ako yung tono. Di ba? Alyssa. Ang galing ni Franco, ah. <laughs> no, I really watched it. I mean, sinubaybayan ko yun till the end. And yeah. I was rooting actually for you and Raksu. Oh, thanks so much, Paul. Uh, direct, direct Vince Tanya. Hi, Direct Vince! I miss you! Oh my goodness! Big hug. Well, in time, yan, because it's, is it summertime? They're here in New York summertime na dito. And uh, in uh, timing yan sa kanta ni Nicole, the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> Vince, exacto ka. Look, it's N- Nicole's turn. <laughs> you want to introduce this song, Nicole? This is my Lola Fito's favorite song, but I'm not sure if she'll like how I sang it. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Oh my goodness. So we, yes, for let, me sure. you, let me ask you a question before you. What does she say about your tattoos? Oh, my tattoos are fine with her. I okay. I think she was more concerned about me being in a rock band before because of the vocal the vocal damage that it, it can do if you don't do it right. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. Summertime by Nicole Laurel. Jumping, na 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 na, and the crowd 
There's nothing more beautiful than a Philippine summer, hindi ba? Anya! Yeah. <laughs> Isa lang talaga si Nicole Laurel Asensio. Thank you, Pino Franco Laurel. <laughs> Talagang pamilya. <laughs> no, so good. Look, dami nagka-comment. Um, sabi ni Rachel, <laughs> overwhelmed ka na ba? Ah... Uh... <laughs> I'm just a giggly mess right now because I'm so I'm happy to to experience you you guys this music and your voices and I love how everybody here is so different it's really cool. Sorry, Jesse, your music in my ears. Gandang arreglo at rendition. Keep it up, I don't know. Na ka. You know it's so funny that arreglo that was impromptu by Mike Guevara. We didn't get to rehearse, so we were so nervous because. Um, Silla Mike and, and them did a, they came from another gig and I came from intestinal flu that the mm-hmm. day before. Ka pa niyan, yun? The sakit na yon. I praise the Lord, the next day it was gone. But I was really panicking. I was texting the producer of that festival, uh, my friend who's who was connected to the producer of that festival, that I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. And by God's grace, he allowed us to be on stage, but we didn't get to rehearse. And that's why I, I really love the, that band because they, they were able to make Salo even if we didn't really have a proper arreglo going that day. Well, that just shows your brilliance, Kaz. Oh, thank you, yeah. Kaz. But you're the one, you guys, and you, Kaz, are the one who inspired who inspires me. Let me, can I ask a question? Because I, I know I. I grew up in a basketball family, and, and and we play. I played also varsity and all that. So anyway, they ha- they always ask us. I'm gonna ask you. If they ask you, San Laurel family inside, who is the best singer? Franco Laurel. <laughs> Let's go to the eldest, Tito Kokoy. Oh, yeah. He's... Tito Kokoy, sige, Tito That's Kokoy. That's a safe Tito answer, Kokoy. Tito Kokoy. <laughs> yeah, he started all that. He sang Puna, di ba? He taught all of us in a way, yeah. so, yeah. I will never forget how Tito Kokoy uh, mentored me when I was when I was a young boy and how he encouraged me to sing, so 
all all props to Tito Kokoy. Yeah. True, that's true. Thank you, Tito Kokoy, if you ever get to see it. Yeah. I want to ask you, Nicole, uh, kasi medyo confused ako dun sa, ano, ha, sa genre of symphonic rock. What is the difference oh. between symphonic rock and progressive rock? I honestly don't know. <laughs> If someone in the comments can what, it, 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 rock, maybe metallic rock. Yes, and, there's a lot. Yeah. There's like so, different kinds of metal, prog, thrash. Mm-hmm. I really honestly cannot tell the difference. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. But audience, you are welcome to educate us. That's a great <laughs> question, Miss Reg. Thank you. Look, look, um, Wait, there's a comment here. Yeah. Si Vince Tanyada, he he's casting a vote already. <laughs> Wow, Vince. <laughs> you know what? I'm really I agree with Vince. Huh? I'm so I'm still so surprised that after all these years, Nicole has not won an Ali Award yet. Uh, I so agree. it's high time that she wins an Ali Award. <laughs> wow. I agree. I actually yeah. agree. Yeah. I agree. I, that's why I, I said it would that. Be a big what? blessing. Good on Vince for, for bringing that up. Thanks, Vince. <laughs> I love you, Direct Vince. <laughs> So um, that's so beautiful. And, and before we, Franco has a beautiful song he, he gave to me. I don't know why, but I got it. Um, when you love someone who loves you, you this song, I see you singing this because uh, I see the love you have for, for your wife and your family. Sobrang, sobrang, it's there. And I see it, it comes out of you. Like, and when you sang this, this song, you know, nakikita ko yung, the whole love oh. for you and your family. Thank you. It's a song. Uh, this song was composed by Jimmy Borja, and this was the. To be honest with you, this is this was the last song that was submitted to me for my album that came out way back in two thousand and one. So I was recording this after I had gotten married. And so the, the inspiration of my album was really my, my wife and, and it's a lot of love songs. And this was the last song that I recorded. And I, at, at that time, the, my producer at that time was the late Eugene Villaluz. And uh, Eugene and I, when we recorded this, it was parang wala pang one hour, tapos na namin. Wow. Ganun, that's how that's how I felt wow. the song. That's how I loved singing the song, and uh, and the lyrics were just perfect. And and I, I hope you all like it too. Here you go. Uh, when you love someone who loves you, it's so deep. When you love someone who loves you, wow. it's hard to find right now. I am never good enough 
people might as well just laugh And still this life is fair When you love someone Who loves you Beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Some inspired a galing in bosses, man. So good. Oh, oh thank like you. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh, Tama, Tama, si Derek Vince. Disney Prince. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Thanks, Vince. <laughs> That's a big compliment. Thank you. Yeah. Anna Faleo is here, actually. Yeah. Hi, Anna. Hi. Hi. Another, she, uh, Anna, you. I'm gonna, Anna, I'm, she, ha, she had a tribute video to your, to uh, your grandma. Um, you it's the, uh, the dead duet from the Filipino opera, Juan Luna. Oh, uh, so um, yes. Actually, she, she, I, if you watch, uh, you, uh, let's play. This is for her dedication to uh, your grandma. Thank you. Sorry, uh, I'm uh, the dead do it. Here you go.
I see our world pulling farther apart. I can no longer see you. I no longer see you. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know, it opened up a lot. That's uh, Alicia's uh, teacher. Yes, we nice are. Randy Sir, Gilogo. That's her teacher. Hey, that, was, no. that was so moving. Yeah. Yeah. And Libertist Gisula. Yes, yes. Like wow. these books are still there. Oh Amazing. Gosh. Oh, everybody got touched with that. You know who's watching us today? Uh, famous president is here, Francia Camacho. Yes. Hello, Hello Paul. She's Hello, Paul. here. Hello, Francia. And you know, uh, uh, hopefully, she's a board member for Leo Awards as well. Hello, I hope everything's okay with you. Anna, thank you for you know, being a student, a student of Fides. Thank you. Thank you for that, Anna. I miss nag you. Nagugus bumps ka pa ba, Anna, for that? 
You should have Anna in the show next time. Yeah, no, she's been here. She's been oh, here. Okay. Yeah, all the time like that. She let me join that. I, I, I know I should have. Uh, I'm thinking of being classical artists with Fides, like Anna, Jonathan, uh, Kathy, and Fides. Mm -hmm. If she. Wow, oh my you'd God. You'd be nice, like, like those classical yeah, okay. episodes. That would be awesome. Or it'd be a class, an online class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would be for sure. Could have it. And more powerful voices. You know, uh, Franco is leaving us. Um, but, but before he leaves, I mean, it's, uh, I know your schedule. Thank you for being here. But before you leave, I have a song here, Nasa Iona. Actually, I, I messaged you the other. Do you mind playing the other song? The Bakit? Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, guys, I have to leave because I have another engagement to attend to. Yeah, it was yeah. nice to see you. I'm, it's nice I'm to see you too. Super. I hope to see you. Cause in real life, in yes. real life. Let's we, do we it. need a lot of catching up to do, and it's Absolutely. nice to meet you, Alyssa. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm a big fan. looking forward, bro. And nice to meet you, Reg and Birdie. Likewise, but I'm downloading this song right now. <laughs> yeah, say hi to your mom for me, Miss Alice. Oh, she heard just heard you right now. Hi, Miss Alice, and nice to. To reconnect with you, I hope to see you here in Manila when you get back. Yes. Um, uh, right now, theater in Manila in the Philippines is not happening. I don't think it's going to happen anytime. It's not? Soon. Well, maybe I heard there's one production that they're going to do. Um, but with, you know, with the strict protocols and all. Uh, oh, I personally... That's why when I do my tapings, I'm more campante because I do lock-in taping. So at least I know that we're in the same bubble. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I go into my lock-in taping, the people that I work with, we know that we're vaccinated, we're safe, we're tested, and we're just in our bubble. Pero theater kasi uwi an eh. So it's so scary pa. <laughs> but Nicole, you did a live show already. Yes, um, well, there have been concerts coming back. Um, of course, there is always a risk factor, so uh, we have to take care of ourselves. Um, but I'm grateful that kahit pa paano nagkaka-eksena ulit, sana tuloy-tuloy na. Who's to say yeah. it's really mm -hmm. not ours, but you know, as long as you protect yourself and do your best and leave the rest up to God, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Exactly. See, see that short. I downloaded your song. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You, want, yeah. you want to introduce a song? What happened? Okay. Well, the next song that um, that you're about to watch is actually a uh, video. I, I I sang this during one of the concerts of the Athene Chamber Singers, and the song that I'm that you're going to be hearing is called Matibay. It was composed by a very good friend of mine, Von de Guzman who I have worked with in um, a number of productions. And he was our musical director for the concert my wife and I did at the CCP in 2018. And um, the song is called Matibay. And the, the, the music is just uh, heartwarming. And the lyrics is just uh, on point. And I just hope you all enjoy it. And again, thank you so much for having me. And it's been a pleasure and an honor to be a part of the show and i'm looking forward to being to guesting again hopefully of soon. course yes thank you for, and you know what who who, who suggested this is alice reyes she's like, oh, make sure yeah, you're getting you. touch with franca laurel and three deaths and all she's the one so. thank you miss alice alam niya kung kun, ano na kumunek sa mga matatanda <laughs> <laughs> sa amin <laughs> no she knows she knows an ali award she knows it she knows it. make sure oh, you get thank it. you, you get it. Thank you. All right, here you go, Matibay. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> so nice. That high Thank note you. to end. Woo. Matibay. Matibay. Well, uh, I'm Gunda Franco. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Birdie. Thank you, Reg. Anyway, I gotta go, guys. Kaz, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you soon. Alisa, I hope to sing with you again. Oh, well, can and you invite everybody on your youth, any pages? Or you, uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, you guys can follow me at, uh, on Instagram at FJ Laurel. That's FJ Laurel. And also you can um, follow me on Facebook. That's Franco Laurel and Franco Jose Laurel. And I'm, uh, you can still watch me on TV <laughs> promoting um, The Broken Marriage Vow on the Cup Media channel. That's on ABS-CBN. And you can also watch us on VIEW. And I'm also on Too Good to Be True. Uh, the Broken Marriage Vow is with Jody Santa Maria and Zanju Marudo, Sue Ramirez, and Zijan Haranilia. And um, Too Good to Be True is also airing on ABS-CBN, the Kapa Media channel, right after Ang Provinciano. Uh, I am with Daniel Padilla and Catherine Bernardo. So I hope you guys can support and um, watch original Filipino programs and support original Filipino artists and uh, thank you again so much for, for having me over. God bless you all. Thank you. So, 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 so and uh, in behalf of the board members uh, who are watching right now, thank you for being a guest for, with us again. First oh, time. Thank you. Yes. Bye. God bless Bye. you guys. Bye. God bless. God bless you. Wow. It's yeah. such a good evening, right? Sobrang ganda. Yeah. Super. And we found out na kilala na namin yung teacher mo, Alisa. Yeah, yes. exactly. Both Sir of you are amazing. Kaya <laughs> pala. Kaya, <laughs> We're a good mentor. Yeah. Thank you po. Well, alam mo, uh, uh, speaking of uh, Filipino towns, of Filipino music, this video is published with Tito Miranda. What can you say about this? You know, this song, I really wanted to write something light and comedic because um, I was in a, a bubble where I was writing a lot of painful songs, a lot of who good songs. And I said, you know what? Let's just do something light. So it started off with a group of friends, two friends, Norris Lopez and Ramiru Matato. Who's Filipino? He sounds Japanese, but he's Filipino. And we had ourselves a drink and we said, Can you imagine if we were out gimmicking right now, despite the pandemic, and, and we had a crazy night together? Let's chronicle that in a song. And so we started off just just impromptuing lines. So Norris um said the first line and then i pretended i was the character and i replied to him he said oh, ito na yung kanta. Isulat na natin. Wow. so mm -hmm. um we wrote it with chito in mind talaga because he's such a great great front man comedic guy all around wonderful person and um we really wanted him to portray <laughs> this this role i guess for this song so yun <laughs> So you wrote the the lyrics and then the music. Yes, 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 did it. Um, we collaborated on both lyrics and music, po. And then the arrangement was done by Michael Guevara, who was playing saxophone in the video kanina for some okay. time. Wow. All right, here you go. I'm gonna done it all. Everyone watches <laughs> publish on. Thank you. Our love. 
Make sure you don't see that. Manalo ng malaki Sabi ko sa mamang may suot na maong Sandali lang po manong pwede bang magtanong Nawawala ang shot ako kanina pang five Natatakot na ako, I hope she's still alive Nowadays, look at this room. It's 
like a box filled with eyes latching onto my sides. Ako umiinom, ikaw tinatamaan. Easy ka lang. This is the strongest one you've got. Say something! Don't call me Tita. I tell you nowadays, these kids, they don't know how to party. Very nice. They don't know how to party. <laughs> that, that was her improv, actually. Mitch Harvey um, improv that line. I, 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 it's a dream come true that she even agreed to do this project. Mm -hmm. The, ang ganda ng cast. The cast is very actors. Yeah. Yo, they were all just like friends catching up. Like the lady and the butterflies in the beginning, that's my mom. And uh -huh. then the other people go and put a kababata ko. So it was really a labor of love. And I must thank everyone who gave their time and, and their effort and, and dressed up and, and you know, mm -hmm. spent the day with me. <laughs> That's beautiful. And it's sometimes dressing up like the Agandaren and like the mm -hmm. cheetahs. And of course, you. You're like a hindimo boyfriend. Oops. And Chito, you're like a lalaki. Yes. He's really wearing my dress in real life. Oh, I see. Alam mo yung mga lalaki wearing my dress in real life. Oh, I see. Alisa, tawa ka ng tawa when you're a wife. Actually, while I'm listening to the song, pa, parang imposible pong hindi mo pa indak eh. And yeah. sobrang nakakatawa din po kasi yung production itself and yung place. <laughs> nakakatawa <Thank> po. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. Thank you. Well, Francia Camacho said this. Thank you, Nicole Asensio, for singing the famous 2021 theme song oh, last year. Oh. Thank you so much, Miss Francia, for the opportunity. It's such a prestigious honor, and um, it was a beautifully arranged song by Mr. Pipo Sifra, and I really enjoyed um, recording it. Po. Thank you so much for that opportunity. Pipo is so good. Pipo is yes. so good. He, he's the one who arranged that Elio introduction song. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Alyssa, it's your turn. I Woo! Know. Wow. <laughs> Sige po, ayan. So actually, um, for this month po kasi we are actually commemorating for um, mental health awareness. So I'm gonna be singing one of my favorite inspirational songs. And this is Pumapit Ka Lang, uh, written by Noemi Oshio po. So this is for everyone.
Oh my gosh, how do you do that, girl? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, babe. That's some boys. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> wow, look, everybody's. Um, no, no, like, I, I am so proud to be a Filipino, even, you know, that's yeah. the, the reason why Ali and Kita Page was born is because every time I go out, you know, and I go like, hey, I go to Broadway or wherever I go, I go, do you know this actor? Do you know this Filipino? No, no, you know, even I talk to the Filipinos here that who grew up here, like, and then that's a little, are you this art? So this was born to show, because it's so brang galing natin dyan, na hindi mo na nakikita dito sa space. Like, this is to show them, this is how good Filipinos are. So, yes. You know, our job is just to promote you guys. And look what we do right now. Look at what Jesse said. Jesse Gil, thank you for entertaining us today. It's too late day of course and too luck to watch a mate. Also, thanks for inspiring us. You, thank you, you know, Jesse. That little thing. And then we have Vince and, and uh, we have uh, Francia Conrados here and more members. I'm so happy. Good evening, Nicole. God bless you. 
Thank you, Paul. God bless you. God bless everybody here. Wow. I feel blessed being here with you guys. So, alam mo, uh, uh, Nicole's mother, Iwi, we have this song, Special Memory. What does this mean to you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it was written by Miss Cecil Azarcon, uh, Innocentes, and arranged by Tito Homer Flores back then. And back then, I, I wasn't born yet. My mom was just coming out of college, and she wanted to become a lawyer uh, like my grandfather. And she was studying to do that. And one day, um, I think it was Tita Raymond Lauchenko who called her and, and asked her if she would sing a theme song for a movie they were doing. And that movie happened to be Hot Shots, which became a huge hit, which means that the song also became a huge hit. And the day she recorded it, she I think she got the study tape in the morning, 11 a.m. And she was in the studio by 1 or 2 p.m. And she didn't even realize that that version was going to be the final iconic special memory that became a hit. And it was that day that changed her the course of her life because she didn't pursue law. She instead became a singer. But then she became a mom, a single mom. And she had to give up all of that for me. And I saw how difficult it was growing up. A lot of people may have thought it was easy for her because of the name or the prestige. But I really saw how, how much she struggled. She had three jobs trying to mm -hmm. keep it together for me. And I really respect her for that. One day, I, I was going to go to college. And I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, just like my mom, just like my grandpa. and. I ended up becoming a member of a rock band. So I guess in some ways, history repeats itself. But mm -hmm. years later, I look back on my life. I, I've, I, I've long been independent. I've been living apart from my mom and my family for 15 years now. And I miss mm -hmm. her and I love her. And I actually just saw her Kanina. And, and I look back and I, I saw that it was time to tribute her and say thank you. And that's why this project came about. It was a Mother's Day greeting. Mm -hmm. And I think um, Ms. Cecil, um, we had a very long, nice bonding conversation. She's in the States. And, and she you know, gave me so much insight about her faith. And I thank her for allowing us to do a completely different rendition of this song. And since Tito Homer was the original arranger, his protege is actually one of my musical directors, Nico Rivera. So I said, how cool would it be if we had mother-daughter in real life and father-son in music do a tandem arrangement of this song? So that's what you'll hear in this version of Special Memory. Here we go. It's what's dedicated to all the mamas in the house. <laughs>
Very sweet. Wow. You're at that time of the show, guys. Um, <laughs> so beautiful. Nicole, you're always uh, beautiful and classy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. All of you guys are, are beautiful inside and out. And, uh, yeah, and it's uh, another one. Another one. Both of you should be having a, a should be at least an LEO, at least. Oh, wow. I, I, Lord, I would love, I, I mean, up to you guys, but I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to say our goodbyes. Too bad. Like, I, I, hopefully, your, your grandma would be, I would love to set it up with the classical artist. Yes, day. yes, definitely. That would be amazing. And with, I will definitely send her the link of tonight's yeah. show. With Anna, with, with Jonathan, with, with, uh, with all the classical artists. But hey, it was a beautiful night. Everybody had enjoyed that. Let me announce the winners for the 250 GCAS. It's, uh, it's uh, Gemaika Gomez, uh, Cheryl Cruz, and Tina Camacho for 250. And the YouTube will, it will announce it later. And then message me on the board, and I will put this also on our page, who, who won. Uh, let's start with... Uh, uh, Reg, what can you say about today? And then we say our goodbyes now, Reg. Wow. <laughs> I am tremendously grateful to all of you. Thank you for our wonderful guests tonight. Thank you, Sir Birdie and Miss Alice Reyes, and you all right foundation for giving me this opportunity. To all the viewers, my family, my friends, thank you once again. We hope you all enjoy the show and see you all again. God bless everyone. And of course, Alyssa, uh, again, thank you for being here again. Where can people thank you very much. You? Yes, po. Ayan. So first of all, thank you very much, sa Aliwin Kita, Sir Birdie, Miss Alice, po, and sa Akay Miss Francia, and to all of the board of members, po. Maraming maraming salamat. And of course, uh, sa aking mga co-artists, po, for this um, episode, Sir Franco, uh, Miss Nicole, Miss Reg, maraming maraming salamat, po. And sa RGA family, Arledge family, Alice Warriors, maraming maraming salamat. And please keep on supporting my music under RGA Productions LLC on all digital platforms worldwide, and on RGA. GA Productions YouTube channel. You can guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, 
YouTube, Spotify, and uh, let's keep on supporting OPM. Po. God bless us all. Yay. You're so good, Alyssa. And I, I love uh, yeah, you know, questions ni Franco say, oh, I, I, I forgot that that time when you were competing. That was oh. a good <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. And, and Nicole. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. It is always an honor, always a pleasure to share this platform with you guys and, and to be embraced by the music that was shared today. Thank you so much, Alisa. Thank you, Kuya Franco. Um, thank you, Sir Birdie. Thank you, Miss Reg. Thank you to the entire board, Miss Alice, Miss Francia. Thank you for all the opportunities that you open to us artists. It is so, so heartwarming to know that there is a place that we can call home, that we can share our artistry with. Thank you for providing that for us. And we hope that our scene continues to grow and, and more and more artists feel that love, that support that is so important. Um, if you want to catch more of me, <laughs> um, I'll be live in a new place in Makati called Pardon My French on June 11 and July 9. Other than that, I'll be doing events here and there. And um, if you want to see me digitally or on social media, I'm on Instagram as Nicole Asensio, same with my YouTube channel, and Nicole Laurel Asensio on Facebook. I also have a Spotify, which I will be releasing more and more new compositions with very soon. I'm working on writing and recording soon. And if you happen to have time to watch Netflix, I am in a series there called Afterlife. So I hope you guys can check it out. Thank you also, Direct Vince Tanyada, for making a very special appearance in the comment box. We have a film together called Katips. And hopefully that will be out for you guys to watch as well. This has truly been a blessing. God bless you guys. I am so blessed by your presence. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat na nag-view, lahat na nag-watch, nag-share, and nag-enjoy with us tonight. Beautiful. And uh, and I say um, maraming salamat for being here. Um, and uh, we will keep continue. As, as we are, you, you, had, you said the right word, family. This is a family for, you, for musicians and entertainers. And you said the right word. And we will keep pushing for you guys till I die. <laughs> you know, <laughs> All right. So here you go. Ch uh, picture taking right here. One, Yay! two. Okay. Got it. And to the Philippines, we're glad we entertained you today. And uh, maraming maraming salam to the winners. Congratulations. You still have a chance to win at the YouTube page. So just share and like and make a comment. To uh, America, good morning, Philippines. Good evening. Welcome to Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alisa, you're awesome. Thank you. I'm Thank ending you the broadcast. Thank you.